Okay, hi. So this is the second video after the terminologies and algebra. So we will be um, somehow starting with the algebra proper here in this course called Algebra. And in this video, I'm going to present to you the laws of removing symbols of grouping. Now, we have two simple laws in remo removing symbols of grouping. Um, this is somehow similar to the video before about the order of operations, specifically in PEMDAS and in GEMDAS, you know. Uh, but only in this part, there is now some variables involved, the X and Ys and so on. So let's try to um, have some examples, shall we? So for the first one, first law, if a positive sign precedes a symbol of grouping, so this symbol of grouping may be removed without affecting the terms contained. So one specific example is that, for so say we have a plus, we have x plus 2. So plus x plus 2. So there's a positive sign outside it. So we may, um, something, 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 something. Okay, so this can be um, the terms may be removed without affecting, uh, rather the grouping, the grouping may be removed okay, without affecting the terms. So that is, if we have a plus um, quantity x plus 2, so we can this can be like, you know, plus x plus 2, and then so on, whatever is um, the continuation. But the thing is, we deleted the, or we have taken care of the, the parenthesis. So that's if a positive um, sign precedes a symbol of grouping. So for the second case, if a negative sign this time precedes a symbol of grouping. So this symbol of grouping may be removed if each of the term, each of the terms contained is changed. That is the sign is changed. So for in, for example, so we have something, something, something minus, say we have x minus y plus one, just for example, and then something, something, something. So this will be changed as in um, each of the terms sign will be um, changed or flipped, shall we say. So this x is, is positive, this will become negative x. And we have here the negative y, it will become positive y. And we have the positive 1, it will become minus 1. And something, something, something. Whatever is the one before and after. So in essence, what we're doing actually is we are um, substituting this mi minus 1. Okay, imagine this. Uh, there is there is always a hidden one here. So there's a hidden one. So practically, this is a minus one. So what we're doing is we're uh, distributing by the distributive property this minus one to the x, this minus one to the minus y, this minus one to the plus y. So that's why it became this. Okay, so to give you one specific example of this, let's have this. Shall we? So let's answer. First step that we're going to do is to distribute um, this minus 5 to the whole term here. Um, again, by our PEMDAS or GEMDAS rule, we will first get rid of the grouping. And usually, in most books, the grouping is in the form of parentheses, and then brackets, and then braces. Okay, so the innermost is the parentheses, or are the parentheses. So we need to get rid of those first, so we can see the parentheses over here. Okay, this grouping is the parentheses, this grouping is the brackets, and this grouping is the braces, and then so on. So we need to get rid of the innermost. So if we will be sub simplifying this part first, so what we're going to do is to substitute this 5, not only the 5, but this sign, including the sign of the 5, which is negative 5. Okay, so we will substitute this to the x, we will substitute this to the negative y, and we will substitute this to the positive 2. So if we're going to do that, the next sign would look like, so negative 5 times x is going to give us negative 5x, negative 5 times negative y, negatives, both negatives, so it will become positive, um, 5y. And then we have minus 5 times plus 2, so different signs, minus, and then 5 times 2 is 10. And pretty much copy all the rest outside the parentheses. Okay, this is the brackets now, minus 4. Let me write the right part first, uh, left part rather. 3x minus, 
k and then on the right part braces plus seven now we're, we're taking taken care of the parentheses what we can do then is to just simplify what is inside so notice that there are like terms here this y and this positive 5y right and also this one this um, minus 10 and this positive 4 so we can combine things in boxes since they're like terms they have the same variables and same degrees and also the terms in the circles they are both constants so if we're going to simplify that um, maybe we can copy first this part on the left part Bra braces sorry braces minus 4 uh, let's copy the brackets first so we have y plus 5y so that's going to become uh, imagine this y to have a 1 in the numerical as a numerical coefficient so 1y plus 5y is going to give us 6y okay copy this minus 5x since they don't it doesn't have any like term so we're just going to copy it and we have minus 10 plus 4 okay minus 10 plus 4 that's going to give us um, big number minus small number that's 6 copy the sign of the big number minus 6 and then pretty much copy the rest on the right okay okay so I think in this part I th it's time that we should get rid of the brackets okay so what are we going to do we are going to substitute this minus 4 to each of the term inside the bracket so the 6y to the 5x minus 5x and to the minus 6 so if we're going to do that what will happen so we have let's copy first what is on the left okay 3x and we have minus 4 times 6y um, different signs so this becomes minus minus 24y okay and then we have minus 4 times minus 5 is going to give us positive 20x sorry negative 20 x and then what we have is uh, minus 4 times minus minus uh, 6 sorry this is positive 20 x and then since they're both negative so we have positive 4 times 6 is 24 as a constant and then pretty much copy the the rest on the right okay plus 7 okay so what are we going to do next so we need to simplify the things inside now okay so in particular we're going to look for the like terms so let's box them again let's try to box the yellows again so we have minus 24 it has a like term here this is minus 2y and let's try to put some uh, say triangles on x's so this is a 3x positive 3x and we have a positive 20x Okay, so I hope you followed my my um, shapes there. So if it has the same shape, it, it is they are like terms. So since they're both y, I put them both in rectangles. Since they're both x, I put them both in triangles. So simplifying those things, let's copy first what is on the left. Minus, okay, so 3x plus 20x is pretty much going to give us 23x, right? 3 plus 20 is 23x. So we have minus 24y minus 2y. They both have this. They both have the same signs. So we're going to add them. 26. Copy the sign minus and the variable of course. Plus 24. And then I think we need to copy the brackets, braces rather. Plus 7. Okay. So next up, we need to get rid of the. Um, notice we have get rid, gotten rid of the of the brackets already so we need to get rid of the braces this time and what are we going to do by our rule number two this is a minus sign so specifically imagine a minus one there so if we're going to ma imagine a minus one what are we going to do we're going to to distribute this minus one to this 23 distribute this minus one to the um, positive 26 or negative 26 rather and distribute this negative 1 to the positive 24 so if that happens copy first the 2x okay and then this becomes since it's 23 here so what we're going to do is minus 23x and then we have a minus 1 this is also a minus a minus sign so this becomes positive 26y 
And then, this is minus 1 times positive 24. So what we're going to do is to make it a negative 1, a minus 24 as a constant. And then we're going to get rid of the, of the braces plus 7. And lastly, there's no more groupings. Thank God for that. So let's um, simplify this by um, combining like terms. So we have 2x, put a triangle there. This is just for the symbols. And we have constants. Let's put them in circles to simplify them so that we'll know that they are like terms. And then I think this is the last step. So 2 minus 23x, 2x minus 23x, so big number minus small number. That's going to become 21x. Copy the sign of the, of the bigger number, minus 21x. Copy 26y since there, are n, there aren't any like um, terms with y. So just copy it. And we have a constant minus 24 plus 7. So um, they have they have different signs. So big number minus small number. So 24 minus 7 is going to give us 17. What will be the sign, sir? The, what is the sign of the bigger number? That's 24. That's negative. So that's going to become negative 17. And I think we have arrived at, the, at the, our answer now. So this is our final answer. Negative 21x plus 26y minus 17. Okay, so that's our answer for this question here. This is a simplification of this by removing the groupings. Okay, I hope that made it clear. Um, if you have some questions or some um, misunderstandings in the process, you may redo and rewatch the video, of course. And that will conclude our video for the laws in removing symbols of grouping. This is such a short video, but I hope that this helps. Okay, so see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, bye.